Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, a completion guide of all the other things you need to buy to build the um, um, Superfly uh, RC Delta Wing. Um, the instructions give you some good guidelines, but not as specific as I think they should be. So let me talk about uh, uh, the things I've bought to... to um, um, added this airplane. <clears throat> so, um, by the way, all of these um, parts are coming from one source. It's a place called uh, Heads Up uh, Hobbies. And um, let me make sure what their um, website is. Yeah, Heads Up Hobby. Um, heads is plural, so H-E-D-S up h o b b y dot com heads up hobby and so uh the first thing is a motor it's uh called emax you can probably see it in the upper corner there uh it's an emax uh cf uh 2812 motor and it comes with uh, everything you need um here it is mounted to the stick okay so if you wondered how you got to mount it to the stick it comes with the stick mount and it's just got a little screw there you screw in and you have two choices it also comes with a um, uh, a prop saver adapter so you can slide that on put a prop on and it even comes with two uh, of these thick rubber bands to um, add the prop and there's your prop saver okay and so if you're using this kind of prop which is recommended on the um, on the instructions it's a, um, a GSW um, 8x6 um, very thin electric prop um, so we'll see how that works that's not the only prop I'm going to use okay so these come drilled with three millimeter uh, shafts uh, holes in them this shaft is three millimeters and it obviously this prop adapter that comes with the motor is three millimeters um, but that's not all you can use you can buy some APC props like this okay and the APC prop can be mounted in um, a prop adapter now <laughs> Remember, this thing is flying backward, or the motor is mounted backwards. Um, so it might look strange that I'm doing this, but the uh, prop adapter um, motor is going to sit like this. The delta wing is facing towards you here, and it's going to spin backwards, meaning it's a pusher type. Okay, so we'll have to make sure when we mount all this up that uh, it's going in the right direction. But a prop adapter is nothing more than a piece of aluminum um, that and this is three millimeters not one eighth inch because one eighth inch is slightly larger than three millimeters so make sure if you're going to use a prop adapter you buy the three millimeter <coughs> prop adapter this is what I had I didn't have to buy one um, so I've got a choice of either using this kind of prop that fits directly on um, with the prop saver adapter or a three millimeter adapter okay so um, and there's about a half a dozen props I'm gonna try we'll see what works best <clears throat> okay the next thing is the um, uh, electronic speed control um, these are sold by uh, heads up RC or heads up hobbies and it's a uh, called sky power it's a 20 amp um, uh, switched BEC okay the BEC is 4 amps which means it can drive all kinds of servos with it uh, sometimes they're only 2 or 3 amps uh, which sometimes are kind of anemic for uh, uh, rapid response to servos so it's got a 4 amp switched BEC um, the, the ESC is uh, 1395 and so that's a, a 
pretty good uh, uh, price for that Switch BEC. By the way, the motor was uh, 1150 Since this is the first time I'm using this particular brand of, uh, of uh, ESC, I went, ahead, I went ahead and bought the uh, programming card for that uh, ESC. Um, they're only $4.95 and it'll do all the different sizes of this brand, uh, Sky Power. So that's the Sky Power uh, um, uh, programmer. Um, as far as the servos go, uh, these are again sell, sold by Heads Up um, Hobbies. And uh, they're an Emax, uh, same brand as the uh, as the um, motor and it's a metal gear um, uh, 12 gram servo fairly good torque um, uh, let's see 1.62 um, well that's not the torque anyways <laughs> I'll have to figure out what the torque is on that um, but uh, they're a Metal Gear um, analog servo, uh, not digital analog servo, $4.95 each. Not a bad price for uh, a Metal Gear servo. <clears throat> analog, I think, will be fine for these. Um, and for a receiver, you're going to need a receiver. I'm going to use Spectrum. I like Spectrum. I've always uh, used them. And this is the AR400 uh, four channel, $29.95. $29.99, um, which is also capable of, of having a, um, a telemetry module on it. Not sure if I'm going to use a telemetry module or not. We'll find out. Depends upon the weight and, you know, CG and all that kind of stuff. Um, we'll get into that as we build it. <clears throat> the radio I'm going to use is either or both. Uh, the DX6 radio, very nice radio has telemetry, has voice uh, alerts, the telemetry is voice alerted, um, wireless trainer, very good radio. I've had this one a couple of years now. Uh, this is my new one, my DX18 Spectrum, and I'll probably be flying this because it's a very um, nice uh, uh, transmitter for uh, just about anything. So I almost forgot to talk about the batteries. Batteries are kind of important. You can't fly without them. Um, I didn't have any 2S uh, 1300 batteries. I've got 3S uh, 1300 batteries. That's the size of it. The 2S is exactly the same size uh, in this dimension, but it's obviously 2S instead of 3 here, so it's a little thinner. And uh, this is so this is a 3S 13. I'm going to be using 2S 13s. Uh, they're on order uh, from Heads Up Hobby. Um, I do have some 2S uh, 950s. Uh, they would work. Um, they're a little bit longer, um, just slightly longer, uh, not a whole lot longer. So if I, in a pinch, I could use these, but they're probably being only uh, 950, um, uh, a 950 um, uh, milliamp hour. They probably would, just wouldn't last as long. Uh, so I'm going to uh, I've got some 1300 milliamp hour batteries on order and we'll see how they work. So thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.